do you also feel that there's a shared obsession among all of us for beauty products that are natural, herbal, organic? I mean, stick the word natural to a product and it will sell like crazy. But I think it has to do a lot with our ancient and established Indian culture. Only a few decades ago, most Indian women consumed beauty only through DIY methods. They made their own oils at home, applied uptans for great skin, and so on and so forth. The best part is these age-old grandma recipes are treasured even today. So inspired by those, I bring to you in this video a very natural DIY tint that is made from very natural ingredients and it is so good. I mean, it's just so good. Alright, let's get started. So we only need two ingredients, beetroot and aloe vera and it takes only 5 minutes to make. I've used the natural aloe vera and I fortunately could find it in my friend's garden but if in case you could not find it even after trying, you can use a store-bought one. Then I extracted the gel by removing the peels. Then for the beet, after removing the peels, I just chopped it. Then transferred it to a mixer grinder to form a paste-like consistency. So this is how it looks. Now through a sieve on a pot, I just extracted the juice from the pulp like so. Also, it's a little off topic but after removing the juice from the pulp, instead of throwing the pulp away, it can be used as a great fertilizer for plants. Ok, now coming back to the tint. Now this juice will go onto the stove uh, for about 5 to 7 minutes and that is on a medium flame so that it thickens and becomes one fourth of its original volume. Then I transferred that to a small container. Now finally we'll add the aloe vera gel to make it a little thicker. So when we let the aloe vera sit for some time you can see the gel coming out on its own. So we'll add that to the beetroot juice and mix it very thoroughly. The aloe vera gel is around 1 tablespoon for 1 beet but there's no strict measurement, it's fine with whatever you take. And this is it, it's done. Now this is how it looked like when I swatched it on my hand. Also just remember to apply a layer of any cream that you use as a moisturizer before this tint so that it can blend properly. So this tint leaves a very soothing pinkish color and it looks so beautiful. Also the best part about it is it is zero waste and what can be better than this? There's no waste along the process, no plastic. And this is how it looked on face and I'm like sorry, I really don't know the correct way of applying the tint. I use my fingers, you can also use a dropper or anything that suits you. And here's a little awkward close up. It looked like a very natural pinkish tint, like a very beautiful fresh no makeup makeup look. And honestly it looked even better in real than on camera. And I'm not saying just because I made it but it was seriously amazing. Alright, this is it for the tint. I really hope you liked it. But lastly, I'd like to leave you with a question. Do you really think that beauty brands that claim to be natural are really so or is it just a marketing gimmick? It was only about a year ago that I was really intrigued and I was trying to uncover what really went inside our beauty products. 
and that switched my attention from the marketing labels to the ingredient labels. And the more I tried to dig further, the more I was left questioning because it is not all that rosy. For now, I'm going to leave you there because there's going to be a part two of this video in which we're going to talk about the biggest problems that are plaguing the beauty industry today. So if you're interested, it would be great to see you there. For now, this is it. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye. I make videos on topics like sustainability and slow fashion, so if that sounds like your jam, please consider subscribing.